You're watching Caribbean Vibrations, and we are here at the Kalinago Beach Resort, about to take on something they call the Island Life Experience. But you know what? I might mess, mess that up. So I'm going to ask Jaleel, what are we doing today? Uh, we're just making a line. We don't know where we're going to end up, but, you know, Kalinago, what we do, basically, we're going to bring out our family, which is you guys. We're going to bring you out with the rum. We're going to bring you out to show you our Island Life Experience. This is the family. You come out to the family. We've got Karim here on my left from the kitchen. And we've got, you know, the big man himself who's going to be driving us all about. We don't know where we might end up in a rum shop, we might end up in a fort. Anyway, you know, that's what we're doing today. We're lining. So stay tuned right now. You're going to see the Island Life Experience Tour from Kalinago Beach Resort while we're in Grenada. Our first stop was the infamous Fort Frederick in St. George's. Now the name Frederick was first given after King George III. His second son's name was Frederick at that time. And right now, the name of this fort where we are standing 800 feet above sea level is Fort Frederick. And it was really built or started by the French back in the 17th century. But the French and British, they mainly had battle 14 times exchanging hands back and forth. Now the Treaty of Versailles was signed when the French gave back the islands to the British. And right now, we are independent, the 7th February 1974. But mainly it was built on the highest point in order to protect the harbor and to view whatever enemy or whatever was coming in at that point. So from this point, you will be seeing the entire capital, St. George's, where approximately 35,000 people live. For example, you can see the International Airport on your left-hand side, 10,000 feet runway. And in the 17th century, the, and the 18th century, and the 19th century, the Concord landed here. And we also had the Boeing 747. Right. So any plane can be landed on our international airport here in Grenada. We then traveled to St. David for a rum tasting at Western Hall Estates. We ended our island life experience with a lime at Lesser Jess Beach. Well, I do hope that you all have enjoyed the information that was given here this afternoon. Please, when you get back to Canada, tell your friends and family that Alice in Wonderland is waiting patiently for them to come to Grenada. And I wish you all God's blessing and a safe flight back to Canada.